Hello my friends, Katie here with Eastwix Paper and Ink and today I'm excited to be back for our monthly Teen Tiny video hop. This month's theme is coffee and tea. So the hashtag will read hashtag Teen Tiny Tea Time. That's going to be in the description box below. If you click that link it's going to take you to all the new creators that are participating on the hop. We do have regular creators that, that participate every month, but we have some new creators that are going to be popping in this month as well. So I encourage you, click that link in the hash, in the description box below, hashtag Team Tiny Tea Time, so that you can check out all the new crafters and all our regular crafters that are participating in the hop this month. So recently, within the last like week, week and a half, I got a new scan and cut. And so of course I wanted to try it out and play with it. Now I'm a total novice when it comes to die cutting machines so I wanted something easy um, because I want to be able to figure out all the things you know um, with the buttons and everything. So I found a free SVG file over at birdscards.com. I'm going to link everything up in the description box below and if you don't have a die cutting machine that you know like a Cricut or brother scan and cut or silhouette uh, you can use you can fussy cut this out you know there's tons of images that you can print out um, and cut out for this teapot and you can also use the hero arts um, teapot nesting dies those would work really well for what i'm going to be doing here today as well so the card base is Nina's 110 pound solar white cover cardstock. The red is uh, Gina Kay's red velvet. I'm using Gina Kay's uh, embossing ink and Brutus Monroe's gilded embossing powder. And I got my little trusty uh, powder tool and I'm gonna be using the um, Incredible Woman stamp set, the happy birthday to the most incredible woman I know. I think that's what that said. Um, for the inside, and the I'm going to be doing a background stamp using my favorite things, Floral Fantasy. I have that set up in my um, precision stamp press there from Couture Creations. Now, I wanted an Orient-themed teapot. And I just, I love the delicateness of bone china. And I had seen, you know, doing some searches for the SVG files that I wanted something that would be, would replicate that. And I think this did pretty good. This floral fantasy background stamp worked really, really good for that uh, with the fine lines and the delicate florals and things like that. So um, a little bit about Team Tiny. The purpose of this hop is to help small channels like mine to grow. So by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing our videos, that lets YouTube know that you guys like what you see and it gets us out into YouTube land so that other people like you can find our videos. And the other nice thing about having a small channel is we don't show ads. So you can hop on and enjoy uh, commercial free binging and check out all the crafters that are participating in this hop. So do, do me a favor, click that hashtag, Team Tiny Tea Time, and let's support each other, show everybody some love, and like, comment, and subscribe to the channels. Um, I, if you're, you're not subscribed to my channel, I really would encourage you to do so. One, Team Tiny is a monthly themed hop, so that's going to uh, alert you uh, when our, our videos go live for the month, and that way you'll be able to, to catch them first. And also, I'm going to be putting out um, some weekly videos um, on different things, foiling, you know, background stamps, coloring, that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I would encourage you to subscribe if you have not. I do want to give a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy you guys decided to join my channel. I really appreciate it and I'm so happy you're here. So thank you so very much. So for this, I'm just onto the card now. We're just doing the inside of the stamp. It's all pretty basic. Um, that background stamp, I inked that up a couple times. I'm using some uh, Delicata ink for the inside to go with that gold embossing powder. Uh, my stamp is a little, or my ink pad's a little bit dry, but I actually don't mind that when it comes to pigment inks 
because then you don't have that mess and overflow. Um, you, you have to ink it up a couple times, but it's worth it because you get a much better impression, I think. And so the inside is done. And I made a little blip here and that top part of the teapot should not have glue on it. So I'm just gonna take my tidy towel here in a second and wipe that off. And then I'll take my sand eraser and scuff it to make sure there's no stickiness uh, remaining from it. And then I'm gonna put the card together and that's gonna complete the card guys. Super, super easy. I didn't wanna put a sentiment on the front because it's a birthday card, but it's pretty enough that she could display it. You could display this out uh, on, a, on a counter or something um, and have a pretty little teapot made of paper. Uh, now, the one thing was my card was splaying out and flattening out. So I just took some scissors and I cut a straight edge on the bottom of the inside, you know, the front panel and the back panel and that worked perfectly. Um, I show you here that if you just want a, a, a flat edge and you don't have to take much off, just, just enough to give it a flat edge on the front and the back and that will be plenty to uh, allow the card to stand up on its own. Now, uh, I'm going to probably do a video on an envelope for this because I have a cool idea for uh, some envelope art. And uh, But if you don't catch that video for some reason, you can use your punch board and create a five by six envelope. Uh, and that should fit this card just fine. Now, I initially had done this card in black and I showed it to my husband because it is going to his mom and he wanted something a little bit brighter. He said the black was pretty, but it was a little too elegant for a birthday. I like them both. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys like the best. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.